Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we have a fascinating research topic to discuss. The impact of international disputes on the global perception of India and Canada as adherence to democratic values, international norms, and the rule of law. This research aims to shed light on how disputes can influence the reputation of these nations in the international community. Importance of the research topic Before we dive into the specifics, let's understand why this research topic is crucial. In our interconnected world, a country's reputation matters more than ever. It affects foreign relations, trade agreements, and even tourism. Now, imagine if a nation's reputation as a democratic and law-abiding state were tarnished due to an international dispute. The consequences could be significant. Real-world examples To illustrate this point, consider the India-China border dispute. In 2020, this ongoing conflict raised questions about India's commitment to peaceful resolution and adherence to international norms. On the other hand, Canada's handling of diplomatic disputes, such as the Saudi Arabia human rights controversy, has shaped its global image. These real-world examples highlight the relevance of our research. Chapter 1, Introduction Chapter 1 typically includes the research problem statement, which articulates the specific issue the study addresses, and the research significance, which explains why the research is relevant and important. It also introduces the research questions, objectives, rationale, and provides an overview of the study's context and purpose. Now, let's discuss how to draft Chapter 1, the introduction of your research paper. Research Problem Start with a clear research problem statement. For example, the research problem is the potential impact of international disputes on the global perception of democratic nations. Research Significance Next, explain the research's significance. For instance, understanding how disputes affect a country's international reputation is vital for policymakers, diplomats, and scholars. Research questions. Pose research questions that guide your study. Here are three examples. How do international disputes influence the global perception of democratic countries? What factors contribute to changes in a nation's reputation during disputes? How does public opinion play a role in shaping a country's international image during a dispute? Research Objectives Set clear research objectives. For instance, to analyze the impact of international disputes on a country's global reputation. To identify key factors that contribute to changes in international perception during disputes. To assess the role of public opinion and media in shaping a nation's image during disputes. Research Rationale Finally, provide a rationale for your research, explaining why it's essential. Example, understanding the dynamics of reputation in the context of international disputes can inform diplomatic strategies and enhance a nation's soft power on the global stage. Chapter 2, Literature Review. Moving on to Chapter 2, The Literature Review. This chapter is crucial for grounding your research in existing knowledge. Chapter 2, The Literature Review, comprises an in-depth analysis of existing scholarly literature relevant to the research topic, presenting a comprehensive overview of prior research, theories, models, and findings related to the subject. It identifies gaps in the literature that the current research aims to address and sets the theoretical and conceptual framework for the study. Suitable Subtopics Subtopics could include the impact of international disputes on soft power, the role of media in shaping perceptions, and the historical context of nation-state reputation. Theories and Models Consider theories like soft power theory, which explains how a country can influence others through attraction rather than coercion. Models like the reputation management model can help analyze how nations manage their image during disputes. Literature Gap Identify a literature gap an area where existing research falls short. For example, while many studies have explored the impact of disputes on international relations, few have focused on the nuanced effects on a nation's democratic image. Chapter 3, Methodology. Chapter 3, The Methodology, outlines the research design, data collection methods, and data analysis techniques employed in the study, providing a detailed roadmap of how the research was conducted. It also discusses the research philosophy, approach, strategy, choice, and ethical considerations, ensuring transparency and rigor in the research process. 
Chapter 3, The Methodology, is the blueprint for your research. Conceptual Framework Design a conceptual framework with three independent variables, as an example dispute type, diplomatic efforts, media coverage, and one dependent variable, change in global perception. Research Philosophy Consider a positivist research philosophy for this quantitative study, as it aligns with the objective analysis of data. Research Approach Choose a deductive research approach to test existing theories in the context of your research questions. Research Strategy Select a case study research strategy to closely examine the India-China border dispute and Canada's handling of diplomatic disputes. Data Analysis For this study, quantitative data analysis is suitable. A large sample size will allow for a robust statistical analysis. Ethical Considerations Ethical considerations are vital. For instance, ensure informed consent if using surveys and maintain participant anonymity. Limitations and delimitations. Acknowledge the limitations, such as potential bias in survey responses, and delimitations, like focusing on recent disputes. Chapter 4, Data Analysis. Chapter 4 involves data analysis based on the methodology you've recommended. Chapter 4, the Data Analysis Chapter, presents the results of the data collected during the research, typically through quantitative or qualitative analysis, depending on the research design. It includes statistical findings, thematic analysis, or other relevant methods to answer research questions, and may use charts, tables, or narratives to illustrate and interpret the data. Quantitative Analysis if it's quantitative, analyze data using statistical techniques like regression analysis. Ensure a sample size of at least 300 for reliability. Qualitative analysis. If it's qualitative, employ thematic analysis. A sample size of 15-20 participants for in-depth interviews or content analysis of media reports can provide rich insights. Chapter 5 Conclusion. Chapter 5, The Conclusion, is where you summarize your findings. It's crucial as it ties all your research together and offers insights for policymakers and academics. Chapter 6, Recommendations. Chapter 6, Recommendations, is equally important. It provides actionable insights for diplomats and policymakers to enhance their nation's global image during disputes. Suggestion for Future Research. Lastly, consider future research topics such as the role of social media in shaping perceptions during disputes or the impact of disputes on economic ties between nations. Thank you for joining us today on this journey through the research process. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the world of research.